Welcome guys, this is Fabrizio Romano with a new YouTube video and today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. Fans love to watch their favorite team in action when it looks impossible to access specific streaming sites, using NordVPN seems the easiest way out, like any other tool, picking only the right VPN is essential. So share your passion for sports with your friends away from prying and malicious eyes. Support your favorite team without restrictions, NordVPN online security starts with one single click. Get your exclusive deal by going to nordvpn slash here we go to get a huge discount plus one month for free. There is no risk with NordVPN's 30 day money back guarantee. The link is in the description below and here we go. And guys, I wanted to start with Eric Ten Hag, who was really clear in his press conference, a really strong message on the market about one player, Marcus Rashford, because we had some rumors from France about Marcus Rashford and um, the possibility of joining Paris Saint-Germain. Marcus Rashford is in Paris Saint-Germain list since long time. One year ago, last summer 2021, it was one of the players included in the list by Mauricio Pochettino. Now, different manager, Galtier, different director, Luis Campos, but still the same feeling. Paris Saint-Germain appreciate the player, they had some contacts with his agent, but on Manchester United side, Eric Ten Hag has been really clear in public, but I'm told also in private, in the conversations with the club, he said that Manchester United can't lose a player like Marcus Rashford, English player, top talent, big potential, and board Manchester United. So they need to protect him, to trust him on long term, and this is why Eric Ten Hag wanted to stop any kind of negotiation between Rashford, PSG and Manchester United. Let me remind that um, the contract of Marcus Rashford, there is an option to extend the contract for one more season till 2024. So potentially the contract is for two years and not just one. And this is an important point. This is why Eric Ten Hag was really strong on Marcus Rashford deal. And this is why the situation was never so advanced between clubs. It was something discussed with the agents of the player, but not so advanced between clubs. It's advanced between clubs, the Adrian Rabiot story, because while I'm speaking, I told you many times, there is an agreement between Juventus and Manchester United. Juventus want to sell Adrian Rabiot so they can sign Leandro Paredes and new midfielder. So everything is ready between clubs. Uh, 17 million euros plus some add-ons to be discussed, but everything is fine between Juventus and Man United. John Murtog, the director of Manchester United, was in Turin on Friday morning to meet with Veronique Rabiot and not with Adrian Rabiot. So the meeting was with the mother, with the agent of the player, the mother, Veronique Rabiot. It was a positive meeting, but there is still no full agreement agreement between Rabiot and Man United because they need to negotiate on the salary. Rabiot is on 7 million euros net per season at Juventus and he doesn't want to reduce his salary. So there are negotiations ongoing between Man United and Rabiot. It will continue during the night, during the coming days between Manchester United and Rabiot to find a way, but the deal is progressing. So let's see when Manchester United will complete this negotiation for Adrien Rabiot. For Godi Gakpo, this player, this talented player from PSV Eindhoven, there are internal discussions at Manchester United. Start Starting around Tuesday, Wednesday, because he's a player that, of course, Eric Ten Hag knows since long time. He's in the list since long time, alongside the top target, Anthony, who's always been top of the list. But Cody Gapko has always been part of these names uh, considered by Manchester United. Now, for the discussions on Gakpo, May United are discussing with their intern hug. They are waiting to understand how much will be the final price tag for Cody Gakpo once PSV will decide what they want to do with him. But there are contacts for Cody Gakpo, so May United are exploring this possibility. Let's see what they will decide to do, because for Anthony, a big, really huge fee is needed, or they can go on Gakpo as an interesting opportunity. But let's see what they will decide next on this story. And finally, guys, the discussions on Frankie the Young, because you keep asking me on Frankie. I told you in the video on Frankie two days ago, his agents are in Barcelona, but they have no meeting scheduled with Barca for Frankie. So when they said in 24 hours, the discussions will be completed, everything will be decided, that was not the case, because guys, Frankie de Jong is still on his position. He wants to continue at Barcelona. So this is the case. And until this is the position, the agents of Frankie will not meet with Barca. So Barca wants him to take a salary cut. Frankie has no intention, but he wants to continue. And at the moment, with Manchester United, the situation is still on standby, waiting for Frankie. And with Chelsea, they are prepared to pay what Barca want, but still waiting for Frankie. So this is why there was no meeting between the agents of Frankie and Barcelona. The meeting was on different steps 
on different things, was between the agents and Frankie, of course, also with Martin Brightwhite, but this is the situation at the moment. We have to wait and see what Frankie will decide at this point in the next days. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all the stories, Radio, Gakpo, Marcus Rashford, and of course, Frankie de Jong, I wait for your comments. Here as always, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, and see you soon with Fabrizio Romano.